assignment for computer art and what we're going to get into today is creating uh, a statue in which uh, case we actually change the face of the statue to be some form of celebrity or person other than the statue is initially made for. So in my example I've used uh, Shaquille O'Neal, well-known basketball player, um, who I decided to take the place of Larry Liberty. So first thing we're going to have to do is to choose a statue to actually play with. Um, so if I go over to Google Chrome, I would recommend just kind of doing a Google search of famous statues. That way you'll get kind of an idea of some possible statue choices. Um, so anything from, you know, the Sphinx to something more of a Renaissance period, Buddha, or even um, something like the uh, Lincoln Memorial um, would be something that you could use, even uh, Stonehenge pictures. Uh, I think what I'm gonna go for this one is um, this kind of Buddha sculpture, um, what I can look at is, um, you know, once you find a sculpture, is to think, okay, you know, or a statue, what, now maybe I can look for more, better images. Um, this is a pretty good image of uh, the great Buddha statue. Um, so what I might do is go ahead and refine my search and go great Buddha statue. And, uh, and then look a little more closely and maybe find some other images uh, that I might be able to use for this assignment. Maybe ones that have better angles. I'm going to look for one that's really just straightforward. Um, and I think I'm going to go with, you know, one of these two here that is a straight on image. You know, I like the light a little bit better in this one. In this one, the contrast is really dark. So I think that this kind of is a little more even of a tone. So I'm going to try and use this image. So I'm going to just right click, uh, copy this image go back over to Photoshop Elements and start a new document, a new blank file. Um, since I've already copied an image, it should create a document that's the right size for what I need. All right, and when I come in here, I can uh, go ahead and paste in my image. Okay, so now we are ready to get started. Now I have to think about who is gonna take the place of this Buddha statue. And I already kind of have someone in mind. Um, you can, as I said before, you can choose someone famous, someone not so famous, uh, maybe a friend even, maybe yourself if you so wish. Um, for this example, I was going to use a well-known actor, Jim Carrey. Not known for being very Buddha-like, as you can see by some of these pictures. <laughs> um, very kind of uh, funny and intense actor. But what I would like is just a straight Ahan Base. And so this one looks pretty good, pretty normal, and I'll try and use this now. Um, you can feel free to try and use any other type of expression you want. Um, you know, for the sake of this tutorial, I want to choose something I know will kind of fit well, and, uh, and so I'm going to go with kind of just a straight on face. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I can create a new layer. Um, on this layer, cancel all that double click that by accident. Um, I will go ahead and paste in this image and uh, what we'll have to start by doing is just selecting the image and kind of deleting the background. So we can do that a couple of ways. I actually um, you know, didn't realize that I chose an image that had such a nice even background. Um, we can use our magic wand and kind of click on the background here. Oops, I'm not on the gym layer. So if I go ahead here and click with my magic um, my magic wand tool, I'll get pretty close to that edge and I can delete that. And now what I might do is I can get in here again. Awesome, beautiful. Um, the other tool that you may want to use, may have better uh, luck with, is your uh, selection brush tool. And that way you can kind of just uh, select the area that you would like to keep. All right, and then cut out or paste out. Um, I'm not sure why that's drawing with red. My selection brush should probably not have a color. Um, right now this is on, it's been switched to mask mode. So if I switch that back to selection, it will really just paint in. Um, and actually what I'll do, go ahead and do is I actually think I do not really want his um, neck or shoulders, maybe part of the neck I'll keep, but the shoulders I'll get rid of. And with the, for that, I will use the selection brush. So again, I'll just kind of brush right up against the neck. If I lose a little bit of the neck, I think that's okay. Shouldn't need the whole thing. So I'm just brushing with my selection brush right over all of the different areas here that I want to delete. Um, I'm gonna 
actually decide to bring back that part of the neck just because on the off chance that I actually need it uh, later on. You know, if it makes the uh, project look a little smoother. So I'm going to just select a little bit. Oh, I did not realize I'm still on subtract from selection. I want to make sure you're on the add to option. Um, I'm just going to kind of make that curve a little bit better and delete that. Okay, so nice curve down there. Um, what first thing we should do is probably resize Jim so that his face will fit in about the place of this sculpture. Um, and then what we will get into is uh, tweaking the colors a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oh yeah, there you go. Big up close and impersonal. I'm going to turn down the opacity a little bit so that I can kind of check on how the size is doing. And that looks really good that it lines up um, with the ears there. What I am going to do is just nudge this up a bit so that his eyes actually line up with the Buddha sculpture's eyes. And so I can see about here that that works pretty much. Um, you know, I may drop it down just a little bit because I can see that the ears, I want the ears to kind of line up well too. Um, and so I think that that should work. So it's a little low and that is a pretty funny looking expression that we got going right there. I'm gonna turn the opacity back up and what I'm gonna do now is start to kind of alter the colors here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go to image or rather enhance, we'll go to adjust color and adjust the hue saturation. Now what we can start to do is play with the tones here. So we want a greenish kind of a tone. Um, maybe if I get somewhere like right in here, and then if I turn uh, down the lightness, if I turn up the lightness rather to kind of get it up a little bit and turn down the saturation. Saturation will take a lot of that color down. Um, so that I get that to match more of kind of the greenish gray tone of the sculpture itself. So um, this, maybe the, the lightness I'll bring back to maybe more like, uh, maybe just up a little bit. Saturation, maybe I'll bring that. No, well, I think that's actually pretty good right about there. Um, I might just play with the hue just a tiny bit more. Now see this is moving more into the yellowish area. I think that's actually matching a little bit better now. It was a little too on the green side before. So I think I found a good balance there. If I say okay, I can kind of back out and check out how we're doing. Okay, so this is pretty close um, for now. We can leave it for now, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and kind of remove some of the hair so we can make that hair kind of fit. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer here. I'm going to turn down the opacity a bit here so that we can see back through. And what I'm going to do is just take my eraser tool and I'm going to erase kind of the top part of Jim's hair here. Um, the other thing we can do, actually might be a smarter way to do this, is use the selection brush. I'm going to turn down the size just a little bit and I can see where the Buddha head uh, goes along and so right around here is where I want Jim's head to be cut off so I'm just going to go around the edges here and try and line this up with kind of the Buddha hat and how that is um, okay so I think I have this selected now I'm going to go up and select all of this hair up here this is all going to be uh, deleted. So I'm just kind of moving around selection brush going ahead getting all that stuff and then I'm gonna press delete. Okay so now when I turn back up my visibility what you can see is that his head pretty much fits within uh, that hat. So when I deselect um, I should get a good idea of how his head is actually looking inside of the hat. Okay so couple more effects we are going to do. Um, I'm going to try and blend the neck a little bit better. So I'm going to uh, use my selection brush again and I'm going to just kind of delete some of this edge here. I think that we have a little bit more on the neck than we need. 
again, I'm going to turn down the opacity a bit on this layer. Um, I think what I might do is actually take out his neck entirely. Okay, so I'm going to select right up to the edge of the chin. And you may or may not want to do take out the neck entirely, depending on kind of the placement of your head and the fit of to the statue that you're fitting it to. Um, but I think that that works pretty well. Okay, so um, a couple more steps because it still really just looks like his face, you know, slapped on a statue. So we're going to add a couple effects to this um, to really help it kind of blend in. Um, first thing we're going to do is we are going to open up our filter gallery. Um, it's a nice place to kind of look at different effects. Um, it will really isolate that layer. And what we can see is some of the hair is still up there, but that's okay. Um, the effect we are going to go for, if we're looking at our filter gallery over here, we have some different effects and you can look at them and see them previewed. So things you can do, um, cutouts, you know, different kinds of glows and paint effects to do to your, your images. Um, the effect we're going to go for is actually this plastic wrap effect, which kind of makes it look like his face is, is shiny a bit. Um, you probably want the smoothness to be up pretty far. I'm turning it down a little bit just to see what, uh, what it looks like, but getting the right balance of this is um, is really kind of key. So you know you don't necessarily need it turned up all the way. You know depending on where the highlights are going, you may not want it all the way up. I think I really do want the smoothness up a good amount. When the smoothness is down, it, it kind of makes it look a little more wrinkly almost. Um, and detail again also. I kind of feel like actually as I'm turning it up I'm losing detail which doesn't quite make sense um, but it's adding kind of more of a lighter tone with the kind of plastic wrap effect. Um, I think that's a pretty good level there maybe just a little bit too much that's probably better and then the highlight strength so if I turn down the highlight strength you notice that it's not really you don't see much applied but if we turn the highlight strength all the way up it's too much. It definitely looks like just like a piece of like a plastic crunched up plastic bottle or something like that. Okay, so we're gonna layer a couple different effects in here. This is not the last one. Um, you know, I think that this highlight strength seems pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna take that and we'll say okay with that for now. All right, and the other thing we're gonna apply to this is kind of like a crackle type effect um, to make this look a little bit more like um, kind of a stone texture. So next thing we'll go back and do is we'll go again to the filter gallery one more time and make sure you don't click on that first option, click uh, on the second to go actually go into the filter gallery. And now what we're going to look at is textures. Okay, so we've got here an option called the texturizer. Okay, we'll click on texturizer and that should bring up a window over here which gives us some different options. We've got kind of a brick, texture, a burlap texture, canvas, and sandstone. And the stone texture is really what we're going for. If we turn this up, you can see it really kind of, you know, crackles the face, um, you know, and makes it really kind of stone looking, um, almost too much. You know, if we leave this at a two, it seems pretty good. If we turn the scaling up, I believe that that makes the size of the kind of like texture a little bit bigger. Um, so too big, you know, it starts to look too broken up. Um, so I'm going to try and find somewhere kind of happy medium. I think that that is pretty good right here, about 85%. Um, you've got options to change where the light is coming from. Um, so this may be something you want to play with um, and how that light is hitting the texture. So we can try a couple different of these. I don't see too much of a change in the effect really. Um, but, you know, what? It's I really don't see too much of a change. So I think you can be pretty happy with whatever you get there. Um, there's some other texture effects you can try out too. Um, if you click over to one and you go back to here, it should save whatever you had just clicked on. So don't be afraid to go ahead and try and try out you know some more effects um, you know while you're at it you got this crackle kind of look um, 
you know, which actually isn't all that bad either. It does really kind of do a weird smoothing to the face though, which I don't really like. Um, so what I'm gonna stick with is kind of this texturizer uh, look. We'll say okay. And now we've got kind of a little more of sort of texture going to his face. What we can look at to kind of check and see how we're doing is if I kind of click back and forth here, you know, with my image, what I'm noticing is um, the dark shadow around this type of the side of the face. We want to get into and add a little bit more of that back onto his face. The other thing I'm noticing is some of these shadows on the top of the head don't really quite line up. So I want those rings to kind of overlap his forehead. It's going to make it seem like he's really more part of the statue. So um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in really close here, kind of get this forehead area down. I'm going to turn down the opacity so I can see those kind of bubble shapes. All right, and I will, uh, for this time, I'm going to take my lasso tool and I'm going to just go ahead and kind of trace along these little shadow bumps and make a selection to delete from Jim. Okay, so that you know is pretty good. I'll make sure that, uh, <clears throat> that this side is good. I'll just kind of go loop right around and on this side again just to make this match a little bit better. There we go. We'll let go of my mouse of thinking here. Give this a second, there we go. So again, I'm going to delete just a little bit more there. Um, now when I kind of turn my opacity back up and I'll deselect, now we can see those shadows kind of going over that part of his head. And again, it just makes it look a little more believable that he's actually a part of the statue. Um, in order to kind of add that darker shadow, I'm gonna take my paintbrush tool. I'm going to select a brush that's got a faded edge. So maybe 65 here, if I move this out, that looks okay. That's closer. Um, I think I, I'm happy with this size. <coughs> um, and I'm gonna go with just a black color. I'm gonna start out a little bit distance away is here. Um, Actually, what we want to do is have this face selected, okay? So I'm going to hold down the window key um, and click on this layer thumbnail, the image right here, so that it automatically selects um, what is in that layer. I'm just going to start out a little distance from this and just kind of lightly brush this darker um, kind of tone in around his chin. And just to kind of help him... Uh, blend in a little more realistically here. So um, not so dark on the left side it seems as I want it to be on the right side over here. So I'm just gonna lightly go against this side a little bit more. All right, and that is starting to look a little more believable. Maybe a little more shadowing on this side because the other side did have a little darker kind of edge to it. All right, so now we're getting really close. And if we kind of zoom out a little bit more, um, we have, you know, what looks like a pretty believable Jim Carrey head on uh, this statue. Okay, so um, that pretty much does it for this tutorial. And I hope that you have, you know, good luck with this, you know, looking at it a little bit more zoomed out, I feel like the tone of the face is actually something I wanna play with a little bit more. So just before we end, I'm gonna go back to adjusting the hue saturation. And again, this is something you may, you know, edit and re-edit a couple of times. You know, if I, I think it was still a little too on the green side, you know, I can see now it's very red. Just want this to be a little more of a, almost a brownish tone. And I think that that works pretty good. Okay, so um, again, you know, pushing, pulling, kind of figuring out how you can get things to line up right. Um, and I think that this, uh, this works pretty well now. So I hope you have uh, a lot of luck with this. As I said, have some fun and um, 